Let's speak about Workhorse, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And today, we have a few things to speak about in regards to Workhorse. Now, I know we've been covering them a lot lately, but I mean, I'm triple uploading, baby. So if I want to make a few more Workhorse videos, I'm going to do it. And you guys keep smashing the like button. So I mean, I can't let the family down. Now, this is one of those videos where there's just a few things I want to clear up, okay? Now, of course, we'll have a look at the price action. We'll see what's happened lately. We'll see if, you know, I, I've been calling things correctly. Dwayne Hughes sold two and a half million shares. Ask me if I care. No. We'll speak about it and why it is nothing to be concerned about. There's this article on The Motley Fool that I've been sent a few times that we'll touch on, okay? But it's why General Motors' new commercial EV brand will be a headache for Ford and a dire threat for startups, and why ultimately I completely disagree. And there was also this very bullish article that came out where, of course, painting the last mile green. Now, the large majority of what's in this is what we speak about on the channel a lot, but there's a few little points I just want to put back into your head to reaffirm. There is also the fact that ARK, yet again, has just loaded the boat. They, they won't stop buying workhorse. It's that simple. And recently, we made a video on the workhorse horsefly and why that is so important to this company in the long term. And the very following day, Workhorse came out with this on Twitter, and it's essentially showing off one of the UPS-owned Workhorse delivery trucks and the Horsefly launching off of it. So right before we do get into all of that juicy information, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below how you feel about Workhorse right now, baby. And please, my friend, if you are indeed new around here, hit that juicy red subscribe button. Join the family of investors. And if you are interested in joining my private Discord group, can I please ask you to hit that first link in the description. In there, you'll get access to all of my buy and sell alerts anytime I buy or sell anything. Access to over 50 private channels. We have a workhorse channel. We have two people from StockTwits who do some of the best DD into this company out of anybody in the world. And we have over 1,100 investors in there sharing their information with you guys every single day. It's a beautiful family. And if you want four free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. You just got to sign up, deposit $100, then you get your free money. Two of those stocks can be valued up to $3,700. It's that easy. So this is where I want to start it off because I don't want to spend much time here at all. Because every single time this happens, there's always a few people who don't really understand what's going on. So Workhorse Group CEO and President, Dwayne Hughes, sold two and a half million dollars of share. There's a saying in the stock market, my friends, okay? There's a million reasons for insiders to sell their shares. There's only one reason why they buy them. Just because an insider or a CEO or a CFO or anybody in a company sells their shares does not mean they're bearish. This is how these guys make the large majority of their money. Dwayne Hughes just made two and a half million dollars. That's a lot of money, my friends. Last year, Workhorse was a two or three dollar stock. I mean, why wouldn't you keep cashing in? I would. And you know what's even better for him? Is he's gonna get those shares given right back to him by Workhorse. Because that's how this works, my friends. These people get paid in shares. I obviously don't know Dwayne Hughes' salary, but I would assume it is far less than two and a half million dollars. Honestly, this is where they make their big money, my friends. And yes, this was a predetermined sale. He didn't wake up yesterday morning and think, Oh, I'm in the mood for two and a half million dollars. Let me sell these shares. No, it was predetermined as they pretty much always are my friends because that's how the world of legality works. I'm not going to spend any more time on this. Couldn't be any less worried and I'm delighted for Dwayne. Hopefully he treats himself to a nice drink and a nice meal. Now this one here, okay? Why General Motors new commercial EV brand will be a headache for Ford and a dire threat to startups. First of all, I don't think it will be. It's very good news for the company. You can see people have been reacting well to General Motors over the last week or two. But I don't think they're going to be a big EV player in all honesty. So they're launching a new electric commercial vehicle business called Bright Drop that will provide a complete set of software connected electric vehicles to customers. And it has already landed FedEx as its first big customer. So look, this is awesome. Because I'm just going to come right out and say it. We all knew this was going to happen. I mean, everyone, every single person who's put more than a few hours worth of DD into the EV industry could have told you this was going to happen sooner or later. I'm surprised it took them this long. GM's news is a big reminder that the old automakers can play this game too. And some like GM are positioning themselves to be leaders at the world transaction of electric vehicles. I mean, I don't really see how they're positioning themselves to be leaders. Like, they haven't done much yet. It's expected to be that every single large vehicle maker in the whole world is going to do something like this, my friends. EV is the future. They're not going to go down without a fight. They're going to bring out their own products. This should not come as a surprise to you. So it's an electric pallet mover for use in warehouses and shipping facilities and to help delivery drivers move heavy packages up to 200 pounds from a truck to a consumer's door. It's a battery electric van built on GM's new Ultium EV architecture. It'll have a range of 250 miles, which is very good. More than 600 cubic feet of cargo space, which is okay. 
and will accept DC fast charging up to 120 kilowatts. So obviously we're going to compare it to Wirecourse. 600 cubic feet of cargo space. And the workhorse C1000 has 1000 cubic feet of cargo space, thus C1000. This is built specifically for last mile delivery. And I'm not really sure what competitive advantage this Bright Drop EP1 is offering right now. I know it has a slightly longer range perhaps. The average livery van travels 100 miles or less on a typical day. So that's not really necessary at all in regards to last mile delivery. FedEx will be the first customer to receive the EV600 with deliveries beginning by the end of the year. More customers will be able to order the truck starting early in 2022. I mean guys, I'm not trying to be funny, that's too late. We've spoken about how important first mover advantage is in this game, in last mile delivery in particular. You could also probably bring that over to buses, potentially pickup trucks, but no, they're not going to be competitive. Now, I know GM's a huge name, and I've no doubt they're going to get some huge contracts with people that they've worked with for decades and decades and decades, but this isn't very scary to me whatsoever. I really don't see a unique selling point here. The Bright Drop EP1, fair enough, it's quite cool. The EV600, their vehicle... No, it doesn't interest me at all. And their cloud-based software platform, let's be honest, that's a given now. Everybody has them, literally everybody. If you're an EV company and you don't have a cloud-based software platform, what are you doing? Next thing I'd like to point out, Arik Invest still can't stop buying it really is that simple, okay? On Monday, they went ahead and picked up, what, 62,000 more shares. Just yesterday, they picked up just under 30,000 shares. They won't stop buying it. It's lovely. With every day that passes, we are getting one day closer to the USPS contract being announced. The odds of it happening in the first quarter of this year are actually quite high in my opinion. But of course, there's no guarantees in this game. We're going to have to wait and see. But seeing Eric Invest still pumping this much money into the company fills me with confidence every single day. And right after we spoke about the drone tech, I mean, they came out with this. Verizon CEO 2021 Consumer Electronics shows kickoff speech. You can see Workhorse's horsefly drone delivery package from the top of a UPS owned Workhorse electric delivery truck. And I think more people yet again are starting to remember that the horsefly drone exists and is going to be a huge part of this company's business in the future. Now this article here, okay, Workhorse painting the last mile green. I'm not going to go through it right now. But if you just need a reminder of everything that's good about this company, just go read through it, my friends. Google it right now. I've gone through several articles like this in the past, but it's good to refresh your memory. So we want to speak price action. Well, look, we did respect that 2496 mark that I had laid out before. Yes, we dipped a little bit below it. Ultimately, we came right back up. And we closed right in the middle of this support and this resistance. Now, this is actually quite a big deal because beforehand, 2280 was an area of resistance and we didn't have a clear area of support before 1924. So our area of support just went up over five and a half dollars, my friends. Now, is that a guarantee that it won't go below there? No, not by any means, but we did just get in a much better position fundamentally, or technically, I should say. But that's really what I want to cover in today's video, my friends. The insider seller from Dwayne Hughes, let's clap for him. He's making loads of money, and he's making all of us loads of money. GM, who cares? I mean, at the end of the day, who cares? Everything is looking tip-top for Workhorse right now, in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, that was just another quick little video on Workhorse for you guys. You've been smashing the support on these lately, so I'm going to keep bringing them to you. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button, drop me that comment down below and please subscribe if you're new around here and again if you are interested in joining that private discord group is the first link in the description baby i promise you won't regret it over 1100 members all of my buy and sell alerts 50 private channels the best workhorse dd that's out there you won't regret it and if you want those free stocks on weebo that's the second link in the description my friends anyway guys i hope you all have a beautiful blessed day i'll see you for another video very soon peace